Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you all my recent empties, what I feel about them, sort of like a mini review for all these things, like I said in my last one, which was so odd to me because I felt like when I did that video maybe like a month or so ago, I thought, well, that's going to be a really long time before I get up enough empties to do another one of these, and I was so shocked with, and I'm not even like making it a point to use up things, I'm just making it a point to save the things that I do use up, so it really made me feel good because when I use those things up it makes me feel sort of like okay about bringing in the amount of stuff that I bring in plus it just makes me feel like you know I don't like to waste things I like to actually use things and you know and get the good out of it and again I feel like these are just so great because I can tell you guys truly how I feel about them if you really use a product up completely you can probably give a pretty good, good review on it like I say every time I do one of these um, but I have got so much stuff. I keep it all in a drawer in this um, big like makeup case cabinet thing that I have. And um, I was really surprised. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm going to have to like reach down every time because there was no way I could get all this up here. The first, I've got like makeup, hair stuff, fragrance, just all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to start with this skincare stuff. Um, it's the new Proactive Plus. And yes, I purchased this. I'm not sponsored in any way. They actually did contact me like years ago to send me things and they never did. But and it was because I, I've used this stuff literally for over 10 years. Um, and, you know, I've just talked about it so much in videos and just not, not this kind, but the original one. And um, I just find that my skin reacts so much better to benzoyl peroxide because I do break out. I have hormonal breakouts, mainly like around here. It is so frustrating because most of the time I always say like if your body is going to break out because of hormones, it's pretty hard to keep it under control using something like that's topical. But I like benzoyl peroxide because it actually kills the bacteria without building up a resistance to your body like an antibiotic would. So I like benzoyl peroxide. Salicylic acid really never does anything to me or does anything for me like on its own. My, it just makes my skin more greasy and I just, I don't know, I just never find that that works for me. So um, a while back, a few years ago, I had kind of been back and forth with the Proactive. I was trying different things. I was using um, Murad stuff, all kinds of, which I'm going to talk about in an upcoming video all about skincare. But a few months ago, I decided to order it again, to order a new um, Proactive, and I saw that they had the Proactive Plus, and so I got the, um, I believe this is the trial, and I, I threw away the um, the face wash because I had literally cut it in half to use all of it and I just tossed it didn't even think to save it um, but I used that up too and um, I'm really liking it it's a lot different than the original I guess I'm not gonna go in a lot of depth I'll do that in the video uh, about this but um, there isn't a toner the second step it, well the first step is like similar to the old one it's like an exfoliator which I'm not as crazy about as the other one I'm actually using a different um, I used that one up, but I have a big set now that was sent, like the actual real size, which is like three times the size of these. Um, and I'm not really using the cleanser much. I'm using a different cleanser with my Clarisonic, but I'm using these two steps. Uh, but the second step is a, it's called the pore targeting treatment. It has benzoyl peroxide. This stuff is so good. I feel like this is what really keeps me from breaking out. And then the complexion perfecting hydrator. It's like a really nice, um, sort of like a gel cream uh, moisturizer and I like this. This has salicylic acid in it. At night I use something a little different but in um, the daytime I use this and so i am I'm been really into this and I'm enjoying it. Used up this whole one. It took me a little over a month. I believe this is the trial size. It's supposed to last just about a month so that was good. Um, I went through another one of my hot off the press which is the best curl spray in the world. I do have a video about how I curl my hair with this stuff. Several videos, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, just it, it's just so great. My hair is so stick straight that it does not hold curl. And um, I can use this. I can brush it out. My curls will last for days. So, good stuff. I wish it would come in, like, a can that's, like, literally this big around. Two dry shampoos. I believe in the last one I showed the Dove dry shampoo that I had used. This is the Garnier Fruit Teeth Volume Extend. Instant Body Fire Dry Shampoo Fine or Flat Hair. That is a lot of words. Or and <laughs> and the L'Oreal Everstyle Energizing Dry Shampoo. 
Um, between these two, I definitely preferred the L'Oreal. This was actually one that I think I might repurchase. I actually really like this. I used the last drip drop today. I wasn't planning on including this in the video, but when I used it, I was like, hey. I used this on second day hair, and um, I, I, I wouldn't say like I'm going to skip a shower and use this. I just use it because... I don't like to wash my hair every day. I try to get like two days out of it, sometimes three. Um, but I can spray this before I style my hair and it just gives it more body. And it also, um, if you do have just a little bit of, you know, if it looks just tiny bit oily, but it's not ready to fully be like totally washed, it's really good. But I found that this, I had to use so much of it. It smells really good. I just wasn't into that one, um, but this one I would definitely repurchase. And then I went through another one of my um, healthy deodorants by La Vanilla. I do use the Suave, oh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, but I use that like when, or not Suave, um, Secret. When I want to like, you know, when I know that I might be sweating a little more, I might be a little stressed, or I'm doing something where I'm going to be like maybe sweating a little more, but just day to day. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe five days out of the week, I will wear this one. Um, just around the house and things like that when you don't want to totally skip deodorant, but you don't want to be like putting all those chemicals in your body. I went through a Matte Velvet Plus by Makeup Forever. Probably my longtime favorite foundation. I have a new one, although I have been using my Hourglass Immaculate that I've really been enjoying. So, um, so yeah, this, but this is a great, great, great foundation. Um, I used up the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. I was on a really big kick of using this stuff maybe like six months to a year ago. I was just so in love with this. And um, I have to use the shade Fair, which is, I believe, the lightest shade because this stuff runs very dark. So I don't think I would repurchase this. Just It's a good product and it has good coverage and everything, but I have a new one that I am liking even better that I will talk about in my favorites this month. Um, a Lash Blast volume that I didn't really use, well it is used up, but it wasn't like I used it a ton this month and then it's gone, like I found this in a drawer and it was old, so empty. That is a good, good drugstore mascara and I think I might repurchase that again. Coming up, another drugstore mascara is this um, Voluminous Full Definition by L'Oreal. This one and the Lash Blast are my two favorite um, drugstore mascaras. The YSL Baby Doll is another mascara. I talked about this um, several months ago when I did. It's like so dried out and gross. Um, ugh, and the smell changes. That's always a good sign with mascaras. Um, kind of be. I'm just kind of like a smeller, anyways. I'm always like. I don't know if you guys have noticed this in videos. I notice it because I'm just aware of this about myself. But when I show products, when I get something out for the first time, I have to smell it. I'm just. I just like to smell things. I don't know. Um, scent is important to me. But I always make it a point to smell a mascara and kind of know what it smells like because when it starts smelling different, that's when you can kind of tell that it might be on its way out or it is on its way out. Um, this one had a very perfumey smell right away and it really changed. Um, and I just noticed it was not working anymore. So and it was about at the three, four month mark, I think. I've got a giant fuzz ball in my... Oh, okay. Uh, and then another mascara, I really made it a point to, and now I have like no mascara, well, I have one by Hourglass, which I need to tell you guys about because it's good, and my Chanel, a volume to Chanel, that's what I'm using. So, I don't like to keep a lot of mascaras because they do go bad, like, some things are kind of objective, people keep things a little longer than other people, some people might throw them out right away, but mascara is one of those things that really, you do have to throw away, like, it will stop working. <laughs> Um, the MAC Extended Play Giga Black, Giga Black Lash. Oh, I do have another one of these. I have the um, Rihanna one, but this one was dead. My L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense, which when these go bad, they go by, bad so quick. Or not go bad, but when they dry up, it's like they'll be working perfect, and then it'll just be like, like gone. Um, but I need to get another one of those because that is probably my favorite black, black liner. Um, my Maybelline Instant Angel Wind. This is the fair shade. I am almost out of my brightening shade. I cannot even tell you how many of these things I've gone through. I've been obsessed with these for a very, very long time, and they're a great product for your under eye area. I don't think I've ever found even an under eye concealer that 
really, I think, is any better that's much more expensive or cheaper. I just think these are so great for the price. Uh, but lately, I have been using my Dior Under Eye BB that has SPF because I love that it has SPF. Um, and it has a bit of a tint. I mean, it has a good tint. Like, it's pretty, it's a good concealer. And then I use a pink product on top of it, like a brightener. This is my um, other one that's pink, which is almost out. But I've been using one by MAC, too, that's pink. Um, that just sort of brightens up everything and I think is really flattering. So, that one's done. A YSL lipstick that I've had for a very long time. And I finally just made it a point to use it. Um, I, I kept it in my purse, so I would always just kind of... It's shade 24. I don't even know if they make this exact, um, this is, I think this is the old packaging. I'm just not sure. It's just a very nude shade. Um, there's really none in it to even really show you, but I just kept it in my purse because I knew it had like a teeny tiny bit and I thought I'm just going to use it up. It's big, it's clunky, it takes up space. I'm going to get rid of it. And it's just, this is a good color. I think that YSL does make really great lip products. Uh, really moisturizing. And I just found that it was really good to keep in my purse. And it was just one of those shades you could put on with anything. It's very nude, but lets your lip color shine through. My Soap and Glory hand food, which I went through a bunch of these. And I'm using a different hand cream now that I'm really enjoying that I'll tell you guys about soon. That I think is even better than that. I know it's even better than that. Um, the Gucci 2 Perfume. I love this stuff. I can't, I feel like there is a little bit in here, but I can't get that last teeny bit out. So I might keep trying, but this is pretty much done. Um, favorite perfume of all time. I just love it so much, and I do have a new one um, that I got the last time, so, or the last time Ulta was doing the rewards points. I just thought I'll get one of those because I know that I'll need it. So, but yeah, those are my empties as of late. Like I said I hate to say this is going to be a monthly thing or a, I don't know, I hate to put a time on it. I'll just sort of do a video as the drawer fills up and I um, I find some more things to talk about. So um, I hope that I kind of gave you guys an insight into like what I like, what I might be repurchasing, what I won't be repurchasing. Um, it's just kind of fun to see things that you've used up and I'm noticing that I've got a lot of makeup that is like at the pan point where I think it's almost, it's almost done. Um, so, I think I will have enough stuff to do a video again, not in the too distant future. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Have a fabulous weekend, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!